If you love fresh food and you want to support a locally owned business, you're going to want to listen to our next guest. We're back with Talk of the Town, and right now we are talking burritos. Jimmy Sule is here from Underground Burritos with, first of all, it smells amazing because there's all this great fresh food. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you for having us, and of course, it's always fun to come back. Chapo's not here uh, today because someone has to open the store while we're getting ready to do a demonstration for you with our guacamole. I love it. Yeah, last time we got the, the mascot, the whole thing, but that's okay. We, you know, we have the food and the food tells the whole story. Talk to us about what we're doing today. Well, what we're doing is we're going to make fresh guacamole. And a lot of customers come in, they talk to us about our guac and the reason they love it is because we only make it to order. So that's a big difference from some of your big burrito joints out there. They're they are probably got their guac sitting out throughout the day. They're turning it, turning it, turning it. And one thing that happens with fresh avocados, everybody know, it's a great fruit, but when it goes bad, it goes bad. Yes. So again, they're hard to find. You were asking me about that a little bit later. So what we did is um, in the um, process of doing food on television, we're kind of going to make you some guac today with it. fresh avocados. I've already chopped them. But this is one of the things that we do when we have avocados is to make sure that they're nice and firm. Yeah. And you ask me that question, what do you do when you can't find them? Right. Well, we try and find them or we don't sell it. If that was the first thing I asked. I didn't even know what we were doing today. I said, how are you finding avocados? Because it is, it's so hard to find them right now. And You've got these fresh ones, and your mm -hmm. standards are definitely higher than probably anywhere I've been mm -hmm. lately. So it's good to know that, and I love to see the process. Well, that again, so that everybody knows that this is a fruit. Some people think it's a vegetable. We get it, but that's what you want this to look like. Yeah. At any time, you want to see that nice, clean the the um, seed right there. Take that out, and then what we do after we do that is it comes in these containers, but it's being made. So I'm going to make it for you today, and then you guys get to enjoy it. Wonderful. So what I did is I already prepared this a little bit to cut fresh for you. I want to make sure we get yeah. a close-up yeah. of these because it is so hard. We all know how hard it is yeah. to get that perfect spot in the yeah, avocado. Yeah, if we see brown in them, mm -mm. That's it. we throw you, it out. Mm -hmm. So this is like the freshest, best mm -hmm. of the best. I love it. Thanks yes, for sharing. You got it. So what we're going to do is just take these avocados, which I prepped this morning just so we in the the uh, love of doing TV, yes. just to make sure you guys have a nice product to eat when I leave. Oh, we love it when you come. <laughs> the leftovers in here, it's yep. just great. So you'll notice what we did is, it's a very simple recipe. It's just I onions, it's cilantro, it's jalapenos, limes, tomatoes, a little salt, a little pepper, squeeze the lime in, of course the avocados. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the fresh pico. Okay. Which this is probably one of the biggest prep items you have is Absolutely. cutting onions, tomatoes, the and dicing. cilantro. Yes. So we're going to throw that in there, right here. Looks so good. You got that. And then what you're going to do is take a little bit of salt. I'm just going to measure this because it's probably what I do best is just There you go. It's like pinch. the old fashioned. A yep. pinch of this, a dash of that. You know what you're gonna, doing. We're going to take some fresh limes. Uh -huh. And of course, we're going to squeeze it in there. Now, some people like theirs a little bit more with more lime. So we're always going to put a fresh lime on top. Oh, good. Once we're done, but you can see Yeah, right I there. like mine with lime for mm -hmm. sure. That's great. So right yeah. there, you're there. And then what we're going to do is take this. And then this is, we like our guac with a little bit of texture. So we try and keep them in a. Yeah, not too. Yeah, we don't want it runny. Yeah, we don't want it like runny. baby food. Mm -hmm. I've, I've gone where you get guac sometimes with baby food. <laughs> we're and then grown ups. Yeah, we're grown up. So you notice right here. So I'm not going to smash it too much. Right in here, I'll put a little bit more in this because I, I like it with a lot of fresh tomato, yes. onion. Oh, I bet our more. viewers are jealous right now that he's leaving this here. We're going to have a flock outside <laughs> gotcha. the station. <laughs> so you can see that right in there. It'll probably be a little bit more smashed when you're a little bit more uh, smashed when you're at our our store because yes. normally I'll have my wooden spoons that are all mm -hmm. out there, but I can't take everything when I come over to do the show real quick. No. So what we do once we're done, so it's really pretty much done, as you can see right here. So we're going to take and just put that right back wow. into this container. So this, oh, sorry about that. This is how you get it every day at our our place. But remember, it's only made to order. To order. So Who you're, else it, does that? Right? Nobody. There's not many. And Nobody. if most of the folks out there are, and I hate to say that, but you don't want that bag guac. No, you, you don't. don't. Want that That's stuff okay. You've got to brag on yourself. Yeah, you're doing amazing things. <laughs> and it's all the freshest ingredients, not just the guac. You guys, your food is excellent. I have to brag on you for a minute. They're over in Bluffton. You can go and get a burrito. You can get boxes for the family. Oh, the, 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 it's going to be called, the new name is the burrito box. But when you buy those boxes, mm -hmm. you buy six, you get the seventh one for free. And for $49.95, you get to mix and match yeah. the flavor of the burritos that you want, the proteins that you want. That's the best way to buy it. That's what I'm 
I'm doing for dinner. That's what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> it's great. You put them in the fridge, you feed the whole family throughout the week or for dinner or whatever you want to do. You ha they have a vending machine outside. Well, that's, that's our newest project, so that's going to be awesome. Oh, my God. You guys are amazing. All right, Underground Burritos in Bluffton. Amazing food, fresh stuff. It's my turn to eat, so we're heading to break. Thanks, Thank Jimmy. You. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all for watching the show today. This was Talk of the Town. We'll see you next time.